Hey Parkview Panthers, Miss Tracy here, and today I am reading a book that was suggested to me by our very own Miss Evans, and so I had to go out and get it. It's called The Incredible Book Eating Boy. I love the artwork in this story. I hope you enjoy it as well. Here we go. Henry loved books, but not like you and I love books. No, not quite. Henry loved to eat books. It all began quite by mistake one afternoon when he wasn't paying attention. He wasn't sure at first and tried eating a single word, just to test. Next, he tried a whole sentence and then the whole page. Yes, Henry definitely liked them. By Wednesday, he had eaten a whole book. And by the end of the month, he could eat a whole book in one go. Henry loved eating all sorts of books, storybooks, dictionaries, atlases, joke books, books of facts, even math books. But red books were definitely his favorite. And he was getting through them at a fierce rate. But here is the best bit. The more he ate, the smarter he got. Book goes in, information goes into brain, brain gets bigger, belly gets full. He ate a book about goldfish and then he knew what to feed Ginger. And before long, he could do his father's crosswords in the newspaper and was even smarter than his teacher at school. Henry loved being smart. He thought that if he kept going, he might even become the smartest person on earth. So he kept eating books and he kept getting smarter and smarter and smarter. He went from eating books whole to eating them three or four at a time. Books about anything. Henry wasn't fussy and he wanted to know it all. Then things started going not quite as well. In fact, they started going very, very wrong. Henry was eating too many books and too quickly at that. He was beginning to feel a little ill. And here's the worst bit. Everything he was learning was getting mixed up. He didn't have time to digest it properly. It became quite embarrassing for him to speak. Suddenly, Henry didn't feel very smart at all. More than one person told him he should stop eating books. So Henry gave up eating books and sat sadly for a long time. What was he to do? Then, after a while, and almost by accident, Henry picked up a half-eaten book from the floor. But instead of putting it in his mouth, Henry opened it up and began to read. And it was so good. Henry discovered that he loved to read. And he thought that if he read enough, he might still become the smartest person on earth. Now Henry reads all the time, although every now and again, the end. Did you see what he did there? He took a bite. 